Now, a great weekend coming up for Minnesota Music. And Caroline Smith and Lizzo are going to be playing at First Avenue. Sold out shows. It's going to be a big deal. And I actually got to sit down at the depot for a liquid lunch with Caroline Smith. Can we get two Guinnesses, please? Of course. Thank you. So while we're waiting on our beers, let's just get to know you a little okay. bit. So tell me, where did it all start? Where did you know that it's not just singing in the shower, it's not just, you know, singing to myself in the car, that you, you want to sing in front of people? Yes. Well, I was always performing. I had this TLC CD mm -hmm. that I listened to like every day, uh. every minute of every day. And I remember my dad was like, knew I was really into TLC and I was like seven years old. And he's just like, oh, she's just being a little kid. Right. And then one day he listened to the CD and he was like, oh my God, <laughs> she can't be listening to this. And he like tried taking it away from me and it was really terrible. But um, I remember I used to put on like black lipstick. I have no idea why. And then I would like, grab a hairbrush and I would sing in the mirror for hours. Oh, so you were literally performing. I was yourself. always performing and singing and my mom would just laugh at me so hard because she'd like, she'd like open the door and spy on me and I'd be like, mom, and I'd like slam the door shut and be so embarrassed. But then it was like, I think I was maybe like 12 or something when my dad bought me my first guitar uh -huh. and taught me how to play guitar. And I just immediately started writing music. Because I hear some kind of 90s influence yeah. in a lot of your songs. Yeah. In Vogue, all those bands were like on TRL. We got your bed, babe. We got your lemon squeeze. We got everything here. How could you ever leave? My music kind of evolved into this shameless pop mm. that I really, uh, that really resonates with me. Cause Nothing wrong with pop. There's a reason. It's, it's popular. Yeah, exactly. There's a reason that they call it that. It gets in your brain. Right. <laughs> you, you know, that, 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 that hook of the song, you can't stop singing it. I love that. Yeah. If somebody's singing it and getting it a moment, you know, you. thank you very much. You know, yeah. What do you First think of all, music? cheers. Oh, salute. Um, mm. We just got to leave the... That was a great idea. The foam. Great yeah, idea. you like the Guinness? Yeah. Who locally do you follow? Lizzo. Okay, yeah, that's it. Bring with a bit of a day, but a bit of a bit of a bit of boom, magic trick. Lizzo. Lizzo's awesome. Lizzo's like one of my best friends, so I. You guys did a song to, together, right? Yes, we did a song together uh, called Let Him Say. Mm -hmm. And that's the vibe of the show that we do, is like, that our band does, and with Lizzo. Um, when we do this, I'm like pointing like she's sitting here. Yeah. This imaginary person. Hi, Lizzo. How's the interview going for yeah. you, Lizzo? <laughs> Your hair looks huge today. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, but uh, it's very fun. It's very upbeat and uplifting. Mm. And it sends a positive message to... I'm, I kind of got the feminist vibe going on, but yeah. we like to send a positive message to boys and girls. Yeah, I know uh, that you're definitely... One of your, one of your missions is empowering women. Yes. Tell me about that. Um, I think when I hit a certain age, I kind of got a little frustrated with all the years I wasted trying to be somebody I wasn't. And it's mostly physical. Like, I'm, I wasn't skinny enough, my boobs weren't big enough, you know, stuff like that. Um, I just got frustrated and I got annoyed, especially being in this industry. A lot of pressure is put on you. Like what? Uh, lose 10 pounds, you'd be great. You actually are at your, at your level. Like, who, like, who's telling you that? Well, you know, I started out, interestingly enough, I started out in Los Angeles and I dipped. I li didn't like it. It yeah. was. It was too much. Plastic. Yeah, I mean, literally, like a makeup artist took a bag of Cheetos out of my hand and was like, "You can't eat these if you want to do this." And I was like, "Girl, what?" I want Cheetos. Yeah, I'm going I back want. To yeah, I'm like, I'm going to Minneapolis. <laughs> I want my Cheetos, and I don't know. That's just. I don't think I would really like to serve as an example. As a woman with a microphone, mm -hmm. there are not a lot of women with microphones out there. Right. And as a woman that has the privilege to have her voice amplified, literally and figuratively. I would like to send a positive message. That is, you can look any way you want and still feel really good about yourself. Do you think people are listening? Well, I try, you know, I try to be proactive. I try, instead of just, you know, getting frustrated with my girlfriends, I try to, to uh, practice what I preach. So for this show, we're collaborating with the Women's Foundation of Minnesota, which is the largest found nonprofit women's foundation in this state. Right. And they've given, last year they gave away $2 million statewide for women's grants. Wow. Yeah, so they're amazing. Um, they, they are pushing gender equality, and they have a, a bunch of programs for, for young girls to teach them how to be leaders, to teach them, you know, confidence. Do you feel like we're getting there? Do you feel like, I mean, are we making strides, or is it I still feel like, a long road? I feel like we're becoming more aware. With, with leaders like Beyonce, mm. 
who uh, she's bringing the word feminist back, which is awesome because it used to be like a naughty word right. and that like don't shave your armpits and like hate men, but that's not true. Right. Feminism just means you believe that women are equal to men. Are we getting there? Mm, kind of. Yeah. <laughs> kind of. We still have got some work. Yeah, but I mean, people are speaking. People are speaking. The conversation. The is, conversation is has started. Yeah.